Let's suppose the user try to submit the empty form. If the user click on this add button, this is going to return the empty object. What I want to do is if the user try to submit the empty object or without submitting any data, I want to return a console message. Here, I'm going to say if we don't have form data, so I'm going to pass here form data and pass here exclamation mark. Then I'm going to return console.log with the message don't have form data. Back to the project, reload it. And when I click on the add button, I'm still going to get the same result. This is because this statement is not equal to null or undefined. To check the object is empty or not, you have to call here an object. So you have to say here object dot keys. And inside this, you have to pass your object form data. And then you need to say dot length. If it is equal to zero, then return this console message. So if we don't have any value inside this form data, only then return this console message. Let me save these changes back to the project and reload it. Now, when I click on this add button, you can see I'm going to get this error message. Don't have the form data. If I add something here, I'm going to get that data as a response. Now, just like that, let's suppose the user specify all the values of these input text boxes and click on this add button. After that, I want to submit that data to the backend and display a successful message. So let me just first create that successful message. So when we connect the backend to this application, so we can easily get that successful message. So what we are going to do is inside these components right here, I'm going to create a new file, name this file success.js. This component is just for the successful message. Here I'm going to say export default function and the name of the function is success and then here i'm going to say return in this parenthesis i'm going to say div inside this div we create another div and inside this div i'm going to say form data added and just for that to this first div i'm going to specify some delvin classes so we pass here success the custom class then specify container and mx auto delvin class to center this success message just out of that here i'm going to specify class names links justify center mx auto then i'm going to specify border then specify border color so we pass border yellow 200 then specify background color yellow 400 then specify width width is going to be three by six so this is equal to 50 percent then i'm going to specify text gray 900 and text md then i'm going to specify margin y4 this will add top and bottom margin padding y2 and then i'm going to specify text center to center the text and just out of that i'm going to specify bg opacity so I'm going to specify opacity 50% to this message. We start that. Let me save this back to the form. And what we are going to do is when we have the data inside this form, instead of this form, I'm going to display that message. So just after this handle submit, here I'm going to say if object dot keys form data dot length, if it is greater than zero, then return this success component. Let me save these changes back to the project. And now when I click on this add button, I'm going to get this error message. But if I have a value inside this text box, you can see I'm going to get this success message as a response. Whenever I type something inside this text box, I'm going to get this success message. Just for that, I'm going to back to the success.js. Instead of this hard coded value, I can just get the value from the parameter. Here I'm going to say message, copy this and then specify that right something like this as well as I'm going to add here an icon. So I'm going to say here import statement. So let me copy the import statement right from here. This one, paste that inside the success and change this icon name like this and use that icon right here. Don't forget to change the size. So I'm going to specify here size, which is 25 and specify some color. So I want to specify here some RGB color. So I'm going to copy and paste the RGB color here. Save this file back to the form.js and to this 
success now we need to pass message it's going to be data added back to the project and reload it now when i click on this add button i'm going to get this error message but when i type something inside this input text box i'm going to get this message data added successfully just for now let's understand how you can create the same thing for the errors so if you have any error you can display that error instead of the form so let's create a new component for the error i'm going to say here component and create a new file bug.js let me copy the code from this success copy it and specify that inside this bug instead of success now i'm going to pass here bug the function name and i'm going to leave everything as it is just change these colors of this error so instead of border yellow now i'm going to pass border red 200 bg red 400 and just out of that i'm going to change this rgb value something like this save this back to the form and import this component so i'm going to say here import from the bug file copy this and instead of success right now let's suppose if i print this bug back to the project reload it if i type something in this text box you can see i'm going to have this message if i want to change this message i can say here error and save the changes don't worry later i will show you how you can use this component in this application